Hello, hello there, everybody. This is Terry Rontor, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to another episode of Smitcraft, which I have decided is going to be the official name of this series. Seeing as no one has actually given me a, a name I should be using for the server, besides, like, Smitty Server, which isn't catchy, so I'm going to call it Smitcraft, officially. Smitcraft. Write it down. Remember that name. Smitcraft. Uh, so what are we doing in today's episode? Well... I have decided that it's it's been a long time now since I said I would build the house on Smitty's Floating Islands. So here we are on Smitty's Floating Islands, and I've gotten started on the house. We're going to build this today. I have all the blocks all arranged, well, either in my inventory or in this chest. I have furnaces cooking up smooth stone. I set up a bed up here. I accepted that this project is going to take a decent amount of time. So I decided to get ready for it, and as you can see, we've already started using some of the themes apparent down at spawn and up here on the island. I decided to make it so the pathway goes nicely right up into the house, that really flows together. We've used quartz just like can be found down at the spawn, I don't know if you can see that way down there. Um, and we're using lots of just normal wood and normal planks. Uh, also down at spawn we have the whole thing with the pumpkins and leaves on top and we're trying to copy that. I'm trying to use a whole lot of the concepts that have already been used elsewhere near spawn because I don't want this to look totally out of place and I think it's going to look pretty sweet when it's done. I have already built this in creative mode and although I'm not going to build it here exactly the same way I've built it in creative mode, I already know that it'll look at least pretty good. So hey, without further ado, I'm going to start working on this some more. I'll make sure to talk to you every time I feel like um, I need to explain something because I do have a little bit of a system when it comes to building. For example, it looks bad when you have a log sitting on top of dirt like that. You should just replace it. There you go. Boom. Stuff like that. So, hey, this is going to look great when it's done. I'll see you uh, in a couple of minutes when, when something interesting happens. I realized I forgot to bring glass, but luckily I can just rob Smitty of some. Don't worry, Smitty. I'll pay you back. Smitty. He just threw an egg at me. He just came over here. Threw an egg at my head. What the heck? Uh, oh, by the way... He was pranked, I was trying to avoid this, to, to showing it, but chances are his video of this will come up before mine, and as long as that happens, it's all okay. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't do this, I I had no part in this, but when I climbed, when I was trying to get up this ladder, uh, I put this trapdoor here, actually, because that block was just, it was plugged up, so I, I couldn't get up for a long time, but I was determined not to, not to show the chickens before he saw them. Um, yeah, though, yeah, so house is coming along. I guess I'll give you a quick progress report. Let me just make some stairs. That should be enough. Uh, because I'm going to use these to get the whole depth and texture thing a running. Um, actually, one second. Alright, I'm back. Um, yeah, though, let's see. So we're going to do uh, a cool little texture in the floor here. Um, and we're going to use stairs to make texture happen, right? So you can set stairs down and they, um... Yeah, like, if, if I just have this one little space, I won't fall down into that. It, as I walk over it, it's almost as if it's a totally flat floor here. But it just makes it all look much more interesting without having a whole lot of random blocks because generally with a build, you want to stick to a couple of colors and you want to have your, your color scheme going. Um, and you don't really want that to change too much throughout the build. So, we're just going to use stairs to make this all look very fancy. Uh, I actually don't know exactly how I want to do this. I guess any old any old thing will work. I could just do something along those lines. That might look good. And then I could just replace all these side blocks with, um, with these stone bricks. Yeah, so long as, so long as your build has um, depth and, and texture and a decent color scheme. That's all there is to it. How do I... Boop, there we go, got it. I was having trouble placing that one block. Yeah, though, so I'll, I'll keep working on this a little bit. But basically, you get the idea. With a floor, floors are very... It's very easy to make a floor look boring, in my opinion. So, um... So, yeah, there... Here we go, this will look... I think this will look not boring. If I can place this block. There we go. So, now in the middle here, we could just do that, or whatever... There are many options, many options indeed. Um, yeah, though, I'll keep working on this. 
Okay, so we've made a bit more progress, and I know it looks a little silly now. It's not done yet, hasn't quite all been tied together. But here's the interior for our first floor. This floor is more of an entryway than anything. Everything that's going to be happening will be on the second floor, which you'll notice is larger. Now, this clearly isn't real life, this is Minecraft, which means I feel that it's totally okay for me to do stuff like this, <laughs> um, where the second floor it, it expands outwards. As you can see, I'm trying to do a whole lot of stuff with depth. I really love glass panes. Glass pl panes provide excellent depth, as you can see. Right here, we have this block, which is actually a block out from this block, and then the glass panes, which are half a block in from that block. So in this one wall, we have about a block and a half worth of depth. That's at least how I like to think of it. On our front wall, we have um, one block of depth. Here we have a block and a half of depth. Here we have a block of depth. And then as we go up, we see that on this wall we have another block and a half, half of depth. Also in this front area, just because we have these little pillars going out, which are holding up that balcony up there, we have extra depth in the front. I like depth. I don't know if I've uh, if I've gotten that across to you guys. Someone messaged me on Steam. Wait, wait. Actually, I, I'll I'll address them in a second. Um, but yeah, here we're gonna have this balcony up here. We are using these cobblestone fences, so I can't quite get over those. We have lots of windows. This is going to be the main area. I'm going to put a bed down over here, actually. And why don't I just go grab the bed I've been sleeping in? And I'll just move that inside, now that I now that I think of it. As you can see, my uh, inventory is getting filled up with a whole bunch of sub-blocks and stuff. I'm thinking the bed can go right over here. Maybe we'll put a desk over here, probably some, some bookshelves up here. And for the roof, I'm going to do an A-frame, because those are my favorite roofs in all of Minecraft. I don't know about this yet. I might, I might actually modify this. I don't know if that looks amazing. But I'm going to do an A-frame for the roof, so I'll work on that in just a second. I'm going to go address this person who messaged me on Steam, and I will be right back, probably once the roof is done, to talk about some more stuff that we're doing. Mmm. Nah. <laughs> I'm almost done. Super close to being done with the roof, at least. As you can see, I did choose to build the roof out of quartz. That's actually why I collected so much in the uh, last episode. Was for this. Um... Hmm. I ran out though, I thought I would have more than enough, and I did not. I am currently, what is it, I think it's nine half slabs short of, uh, of finishing this. I need nine quartz half slabs. I am totally out right now, this is like what you see right here. That's all I have left, so I, I need like five more blocks of quartz, and I'm gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can steal that from someone. I feel kind of bad about it, but I will of course, pay them back in the future. Darn it, no quartz up here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go look around to see who I can rob for, for uh, five blocks of quartz. And, um, hmm, <clears throat> I will pay them back, guarantee. I'll even have video footage of me taking it from them, so I'll, I will, of course, remember to uh, repay them. So yeah, I'm gonna look around a bit for who I can rob. A little, just, I'll, I'll only rob them a little bit, you know? And then I'll be... Then I'll be set and ready to go, and I can finish this house. So I did decide to use quartz for the roof. Uh, in my opinion, quartz is not the best looking roof block in the game, right? Um, hmm. The winner. By specs. Hello, if you're reading this, then you're lucky you win nothing. That was a terrible book, specs. I'm very disappointed in your writing skills. Um... Yeah, though, so, oh, man, fell into the chicken farm. So, yeah, in my opinion, um, quartz is not the best-looking block for roofs in the game. I actually really, really like using cobblestone for roofs, and cobblestone is much cheaper, so you might be thinking, now, wait a minute. If you think cobblestone looks better, and it's cheaper and easier to collect, why would you use quartz? Well, I think that quartz, in this specific scenario, looks really good. I think it's almost kind of like metaphorical in a sense. Like it represents clouds because these buildings are up so high in the sky. And I think that it'll just... I think it'll feel right or something. Okay, so I can steal this and that'll get me three... I only need two more blocks of quartz now. I don't remember that I stole it from this chest right here. Actually, whose chests are these that I'm currently robbing? Because if they're playing, I actually asked him for some quartz and he pretty much already said I can't have any... So if I'm robbing playing right now, I'll feel kind of bad about that. But hey, remember, I stole three blocks of quartz from there. And don't worry, when I repay these people, actually, I'll double what I took. So I'll repay him with six blocks of quartz later. Um, 
This is Sor Sorlite stuff. Is this Sorlite's house? What is this? Is this supposed to be some sort of modern, modern derp house or something? All right, yeah. So I'll look around a bit more, and uh, until I find someone else to rob, then we'll go up and finish that house. All right, so I'm talking with Smitty in chat. I was like, "Hey, Smitty, could I have like five blocks of quartz?" And he was like, "Sure." So um, I'm gonna go return this other quartz I stole, and instead I'm gonna steal from Smitty. And of course, the whole repay double thing will still apply. So later when I get more quartz, look, playing is AFK, but why? Um, yeah. So, where, what chest did I steal this from exactly? It was like, one of these. It was probably this one. So, um, I had one. I stole 12. There we go. So, I'm gonna go get these five blocks of quartz from Smitty, and I will owe him 10 later. Okay, stealing five blocks of quartz from Smitty with his permission. There we go. Thanks, Smitty. I appreciate it. Oh, he got pranks. Should we even read the pranks then? No, you're gonna have to watch Smitty's video. If you want to see that. Oh, there's some experience. I, I think a chicken must have got killed. Yeah, so you're, you're going to have to watch Smitty's video. Uh, I'll link it in the description for sure. If you if you actually want to see that prank. And I'll also link the video. Um, if the people who pranked him end up putting up a video. I'll, I'll, li I'll link that as well. So you guys can see exactly what happened with that whole thing. But yeah, now that we finally got this last little bit of quartz. Mm, we can make these half slabs. Yes. We can climb back up here. We can go boop, 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 and boop, 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 boop. Done. And we have we even have a little bit of quartz left over. Look at that. Mmm. Look at all that leftover quartz. Yes. And let's hop down here. Oh yes, parkour. Mine this up. Dig it up. I mean, axe it up. Chop it up. And uh, and here we go. Our roof is done. The roof is white, way up in the sky, looks like clouds. Also shows this is a very high budget home. The person who lives here is the owner of a uh, pretty successful small business that makes blankets that not only cover your body, but also your head and face uh, without suffocating you. So the person that, that made this house is a very successful small business person. And, um, and you can tell because of the quartz roof. That's what people should get from that, I think, when they look up in the sky. So now I just have to put in a couple of finishing touches, like, for example these walls uh, that are up higher, also some, some more furniture in here, and then we'll be all done and I can really explain the house and, and talk about its deep meaning. And we are done. So, let me walk you through what I think of the house. I think the exterior looks pretty darn good. These things look silly, in my opinion, those little single blocks of wood surrounded by the uh, smooth slabs. I think that looks a little bit silly. Um, I think that the roof is maybe a little bit too large with, with not quite enough going on. It's totally flat, as you can see, uh, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Other than that, though, I would say that the exterior looks very good. I really like it. I think that it turned out pretty darn well. I think that the back uh, looks pretty darn good. Like, if you're looking at it from down below, I think it'll look pretty grand. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. As you can see, I ran out of wood, so I had to plan to cut down a couple of trees over here. Um, now, as we go inside, I think that this little bottom area, seeing as it is just an entrance, I think it looks really nice for an entrance. I like the, the paintings and the windows. Um, I think that looks great. I think I just got a text. And then as we go up, this is where the interior design uh, is lacking a little bit. See, I was going to also do a stair thing on the inside with the quartz, but as you can see, I ran out of quartz. Like, you know... I ran out of it by a lot. I definitely didn't have enough to finish this up. Um, also, I kind of wanted to put like a potted plant over here or something. I don't know. Just just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Maybe some bookshelves. But I forgot to bring up any clear bookshelves or anything. And I've been working on this for quite a while now. So, hey, I'm going to be done for now. But I will come back and I'll improve this later. If you have any opinions on what you think I could do to make this look better, feel free to post them in the comments. I would really appreciate any insight you guys may have. Overall, though, I think the house is looking pretty darn good. Maybe we'll take off that ladder there. I don't know. Um, yeah, though, I'm feeling like this is looking pretty darn good. I don't know. Maybe this beam as well is a little bit plain. Maybe we could do something. Maybe we could even have, like, the uh, smooth slabs cut through that or something just to make it not quite as solid. Uh, yeah, though, I'm pretty happy with this. So, hey, I know it's a short episode because all I did was build this house. But thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. 
If you'd like to see more videos like it, leave a subscribe thingy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment or send me a message. Tune in next time to see me. I don't know. Uh, as you can see, I've definitely been working on the hole slowly. The hole over by the slime farm. It's, it's pretty deep now. Um, but I don't think I'm going to build the slime farm quite yet. I think that next episode, I'm probably going to build myself a skeleton farm. Because I have some stuff I know about physics in Minecraft and stuff. Uh, I have some improvements I think I could make on the other farms that have been built on the server so far. So I'd like to make a little bit of a tutorial thing, I guess. Just to show you guys how to make a really, really nice, efficient farm. So thank you very much for watching. Terrorantor is out of here.